Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Abacus and Place Value System. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn the following. 1. Know what the abacus is. 2. Understand the place value system. 3. Write coded messages, using numbers. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Introduction to Abacus In the olden days, traders had difficulties in making calculations. So, they made devices, to help them with counting of numbers, amongst which includes, the Abacus. An Abacus is an old device, or instrument, used for calculations. It is made up of a wooden frame as its base, and straight rods, are fixed to the base. The rods have round beads attached to them. Below is an image of an abacus. Uses of abacus The abacus is used to calculate the following. Addition Subtraction Multiplication Division Square root of numbers And, cubic root of numbers. Now, Let's see what place value is. Place value system. Place value is the basis of our entire number system. This is the system in which the position of a digit in a number determines its value. Let's look at the place value system below. Where? TH represents thousands. H represents hundreds. T represents tens. Zero represents units, or ones. Note that, a digit may have different values, depending on where it is placed, in a given number. Now, let's see an example, using an abacus. Placing numbers using the abacus. The abacus is still in use, in different forms in many schools today, for the teaching of place value of numbers. The rods of the abacus, are in form of columns, which stands for the digits. For example, the abacus below shows a five-digit number, placed in their various columns. Let's count together. 2. In the tens, of thousands column. 4 in the thousands column 2 in the hundreds column 1 in the tens column 3 in the ones column this gives us 24,213 that's awesome coding messages using numbers coding messages using numbers is the process of replacing letters with numbers in the English alphabets. In the Romans number system, we see letters like I, C, M, D, etc. being used to represent numbers. Therefore, we can equally use numbers to represent letters. We suppose that the letters of the English alphabet are respectively represented by the first 26 numbers, as shown below. Note that, we put comma, between the numbers, representing each letter. Let's see an example. Write, Cecilia, in codes. Solution. Replace each letter, with the corresponding number. Where? C, is replaced with 3. E, is replaced with 5. C is replaced with 3. E is replaced with 5. L is replaced with 12. I is replaced with 9. A is replaced with 1. Therefore, Cecilia equals 3, 5, 3, 5, 12, 9, 
one. That's awesome. Assignment. Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. What the abacus is all about. What the place value system is. How to write coded messages, using numbers. I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in our next one. Thanks. And goodbye.